there today I'm going to show you how to work up my window flower stitch for this pattern you're going to need three colors of worsted weight yarn I'm working with Bernat satin today you're also going to need a US J10 6.00 millimeter hook to get started you're going to have to start with a foundation of single crochet stitches this pattern is worked in multiples of three plus three so I started out with 33 stitches in my pattern, which gives me 32 single crochets across. And then in the last single crochet, we're going to join in our alternate color, which is green. So start your single crochet, get your green yarn and draw up a loop, chain one, and then turn your work. Now we're going to start this row of work in my pattern for this stitch. This is row five. We're going to start with a single crochet in our beginning single crochet. We're going to skip one stitch working in our next stitch, work a V stitch. A V stitch is a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch chain one. Now I'll show you the repeat for this row. We're going to skip two stitches working in the third. Work a v-stitch. So one half double crochet, chain one, and then half double crochet again in the same stitch. Chain one. Now that's our repeat so we're going to do that again. We're going to skip two stitches, working in our third, work a V-stitch, so half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, and then chain one. Continue repeating that across and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Here we are at the end of the row. We just finished our V-stitch and we have two single crochets left. So we're going to chain one and then work a single crochet in that last single crochet but we're going to draw up our white so start your single crochet and where's my yarn here? Here we are. Draw up your master color. Now to finish off this row we're going to chain one and turn our work. Getting started on row 6 of our work, single crochet in your beginning single crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in our skipped single crochet from our previous row. And then chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Skip this V-stitch. Now I'm going to show you the repeat for this row. We're going to work in the skipped stitches from our previous row. We have two single crochets here that we skipped. We're going to work a double crochet in the second skipped single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the V stitch and that completes our first repeat. I'll show you it again. We're going to double crochet in our second skipped single crochet from our previous row. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip the V stitch and continue repeating that across and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Here we are at the end of the row. To finish this off, I've just worked my last chain three and I've skipped my V stitch. To finish off, work a single crochet in your last single crochet, making sure that you draw up your rose colored yarn and then we're going to chain one and turn our work. That completes this row of work. Getting started on row seven, work a single crochet in your beginning single crochet, chain one and then we're going to work a shell stitch in the chain one space of our V stitch from our previous row. 
so a shell stitch is four half double crochets so that's one two three four and then I'm going to chain one now that completes my first part of the pattern I'm going to show you the repeat the repeat is to work a shell which is four half double crochets in the chain one space of your V stitch from the previous row so we're going to do four half double crochets one two three and then four chain one that's our repeat I'll show you that repeat again so it's a shell stitch in our chain one space of our V stitch from our previous row work four half double crochets one two three and then four chain one that's our second repeat you can continue repeating that across to the end of the row and I'll meet you there here we are at the end of the row I've just finished with my last chain one to finish this row of work we're actually going to be working in our master collar row in the last single crochet we're going to work a single crochet making sure to draw up your master color now you'll notice right now that your master color is over on this side and now so if you're going to work this pattern I would actually recommend working your master color where you have two balls on each side so you can alternate them otherwise you're going to have to fasten off your yarn and reattach it on the other end I have I think some scrap here I can use just one so we're going to draw up our master color and then we're going to chain one turn your work and that completes this row of work here we are at the beginning of row eight to get started work a single crochet in your beginning single crochet now we're going to work a single crochet by inserting our hook into the double crochet from our previous row, row 6, and we're also going to insert our hook into the chain 1 space from row 7. Now we can continue working that single crochet there. And then we're going to work two half double crochet in the chain 3 space from row 6. 1, 2. That's our first repeat. I'll show you the repeat again. So we're going to work a single crochet by inserting our hook into the double crochet from row 6 and into the chain 1 space from row 7. Work 2 half double crochet in the chain 3 space from row 6. 1, 2. Continue repeating that across and I'll meet you at the end of the row. Here we are at the end of the row. To finish off, we're going to work a single crochet in row 7, single crochet there. Oh, my yarn keeps snagging on me here. There we are. And that complete, oh sorry, we actually have to do a chain one and turn your work. And that completes this row of work. I've finished row 8. To continue on and add more flowers, you can add two rows of single crochet now and then start again on row 5 of your green stems to add more length to your piece. For more crochet patterns, tutorials and yarn shop, please visit my blog dearestdebbie.com.